most people have been absolutely wonderful, but there are people who don't understand the difference between someone on a screen and someone in front of them. Mm -hmm. And so I was dealing with a lot of people demanding things of me that I hadn't been used to before. And especially because I take the pandemic seriously and not everybody does. And so people will get mad at me. Why won't you hug me? I'm like, I'm not even going to shake your hand, which by the way, I don't think I'll ever shake hands again. It's the best. Just right. elbow bump. I haven't had a cold in two years, but uh, <laughs> Japanese the, had it right. Bow. Hell yeah. yeah. Although by the way, little tangent, I once saw someone cause that's supposed to show humility, but I once saw two people, I was in Japan and I saw two people get into a bow off. <laughs> where like they needed the last bow to show just how humble they were. And I'm like, you're both being dicks. <laughs> and then, and then they finished. And then the guy who wasn't last kind of, as he started walking away, just turned and just kind of gave like a quick little bow. And I'm like, that guy's the bigger dick. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, it was something where there was this stretch on tour in mid August where it was the first time in my life that I was dealing with anxiety. I've always been very lucky in that, you know, I know a lot of anxiety and depression is based on chemical imbalance mm -hmm. and I was lucky to not have that, but people can change and also external factors can influence it. And so I started dealing with anxiety for the first time and I had no idea how to deal with it. And I found myself getting very quick to anger, which is not me at all. And like, I'm a fairly even keeled, like, all right, let's talk this through kind of person. And there was this moment where it was my show in New York and I'm from there. It's my home. It's like my homecoming show. I'm playing the Gramercy theater. I'm so excited. My name's on the damn marquee outside. And this is like a very highly trafficked area near where I used to hang out as a kid. You know, I mean, it's just so exciting. And I get there and one of the security guys and obviously he's new there but one of the security guy go you know one of the security guys you know is like oh the doors aren't open yet i go oh no hey i'm i'm steve and instead of saying oh welcome to the gramercy you know or oh happy to have you like someone in that position should have done in that job that is the part of what you do in that job um, instead, he still treated me like I wasn't supposed to be there and patted me down and just really made me feel like I was intruding. And I had this well of anger where I wanted to be like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, and like, and which is not something I would ever do. I understand he's got a difficult job. He probably just started that job. It's just after the pandemic. I'm sure they were short staffed and, and restaffing and, and all the logic in me didn't want to do that. But there's this emotion in me that wanted to and I stopped myself and I just, you know, kind of nodded and I walked in and I realized this is a problem. <laughs> 